last screw. <sighs> Next step, steel roof and 65 billion million billion screws. <laughs> and to uh, one of my subscribers, Terry, I think uh, I read it this morning, uh, a comment, and uh, I think you asked if I don't want to put up insulation below the ventilation boards. No, I'm not, because it's outside the cabin walls, so I save a bit of money by not putting anything in here. And I love to save money because it doesn't I don't have many of them. This is the result of uh, a few wildflowers I dug up last summer and uh, butterflies loves them. They're all over the place all the time. In all shapes and colors I got more down here. Just look at this. <laughs> That's what the local fauna do for the local insects. As you probably can hear, it's really windy and it's been like that for several days and a lot of rain, but now it cleared up. But I can see out there in the background it's getting dark again. So I haven't I haven't uh, been able to do the roof. Uh, it's been yeah, I I don't dare bring those big uh, sheets of steel roof up because if uh, if the wind grabs hold of them up both that the the steel and maybe me would be blown out, blown off the roof and uh, I I risk damaging the uh, the the sheets of steel roof so yeah but I have all these mixed oak and uh, I think it's mostly oak I'm gonna cut up a lot of the, the uh, skinny ones and uh, chop it and bring it inside 
I still need at least five, seven cubic meters of firewood for winter. So, yeah. I'm not sure how this is going to pan out but if I can get them standing up like this maybe I can pull them up I'm not sure I'll try or else I need to find a way maybe with a couple of hooks here at the bottom and pull them up by a rope or something Let's see, but already now, the sun is... <laughs> yeah, I had to put on gloves because the steel is already warm. And this is gonna go. Because it, yeah, it's like a greenhouse behind that. Let's see. <laughs>
it's too heavy. When I first start pulling it up, I cannot let go. Uh, I need to think of uh, some way of getting it up and not risking dropping it. It is only four and a half meters, but uh, with a little wind, if it catches this, I'm happy I'm secured. Yeah, let's go. And I can see, I think, it's the perfect length. Yeah, as you can see, I'm attached to two ropes because I'm going over the, the top of the roof. So if I'm uh, secured by the rope from that side, I can fall on this side. And if I'm secured on the rope from this side, I can fall on that side. So that's why I got two ropes today. Well now I have to figure out if the distance I have planned for the overhang on the roof is straight. So I need to measure all the way. No, I need to measure from the from the top and at the bottom and adjust the steel plate the steel roof so hopefully it's straight i don't think so but 
as close as I can get. Yeah, I'm in trouble. The roof ends up here and these are too long that's not a problem because I can just cut them off or I'll cut this bit away the problem is when I, I because I build alone the roof when I pull those sheets of steel roof up I need something down here to hold them in place so I can screw them in at the top but and that means that I, I can't remove this uh, before all the steel roof are up but I want to hi Miller <laughs> but I want these shorter because I'm too far out compared to the length of the roof and I need the steel roof to be yeah two three inches out so I can put up a board here like this in here and uh, have a rain gutter here and I want a porch as well with the roof underneath it so I need yeah ah well so the roofs are not gonna go up this week but uh, yeah I need to fix all this first and I need to get all the seven sheets of steel roof up on this side so I know the distance because I want to board up underneath here to finish and close all this in and uh, yeah damn next week. Ah.